I judged from our telephone conversation that you and Mr. Bennett are having difficulty in starting your family. Well, yes, Doctor. We thought that possibly you could tell us what's wrong. I mean, so many of our friends are having children while we aren't. Do you suppose you could find out what the trouble is? Come around here where I can see you. Hey, you look sharp in that thing. Think so? Well, I saved it to wear for you. You better. That thing would give somebody ideas. What is this, Kathy? Are you gonna step out on me? been married long enough now so that something should have happened. Only the other day I was talking to Mother and she asked me when she was going to be a grandmother. George, I told her I didn't know. You know, darling, you talk a lot about wanting a family. But don't you know that talk won't get you anywhere? I won't. I don't want a ready-made family. If I'm going to have children, I want them to be mine, my own. But darling, what else can we do? If you two have decided against adoption, there may be something I can do. That is, if you want your own child. Why, doctor, you don't think... No, no, Mrs. Bennett, you misunderstand me. Tell me, Mother, what do you think we should do? I want a baby of my own, but I'm not sure that I wouldn't feel guilty every time I look at it. Why should you feel guilty, Kathy? Naturally, it wouldn't be George's baby, but he understands that. I guess you'll have to take off that dress and let it dry. I haven't anything under it. Not anything? Well, just me. Hold everything, gang. Hold it. Betty's going to show us how they dance at the better burlesque houses. Oh, Go ahead, baby. That's your cue. <laughs> Darling, don't go too far. Remember, you're a lady. I said I'd be home in a few moments. You'd better get that gigolo out before I get there, or I'll kick him out myself. Frank, you've been slumming again. Why, you cheap tramp. Let's get this. Oh, oh, <laughs> Come on, Red, give it to her. Go, Blondie. Come on, give it away. Give it to her.